Well, right now we're in uh, Rosemary's Vineyard. This is actually Rosemary's Vineyard Block 9. Uh, it's uh, the second uh, part of Block 9. It's Pinot Noir, Clone 2A, and the rootstock is, uh, is 3309. So these signs really tell us everything that we need to know about each individual vineyard block. This is one of the very, very best sections of, of Rosemary's Vineyard. Uh, where we, we're standing right now, my, my mom's house is actually uh, directly behind us. And uh, as we look down here, we're, we're just looking over the, uh, the Arroyo Grande Valley and a, and a beautiful Chardonnay block down there. Okay, the, the vineyard crew will be here in the next 20 or 30 minutes and I thought I could explain some of the things that we're looking at here. Uh, for one thing, we've, we've got this netting here. The, the netting is to prevent damage uh, from, from the birds, which uh, birds really like to eat uh, ripe grapes. And uh, we use these little pieces of, uh, of pipe right here to push the netting out away from the, uh, the clusters. The birds have gotten smart, and if, if the netting is right next to the clusters, they'll actually go in there and, and uh, uh, eat the berries and that's exactly what's happened right here we don't like that the other thing we find is that the deer kind of push up against this uh, as well so the vineyard crew is going to have to remove uh, all of this netting they just pull it down from up here we just uh, use these little clips right here which are the same ones that you see on uh, on a loaf of bread so what are the things that we're looking for that really tell us that the grapes are ripe First and foremost, it's, it's the actual flavor of the grapes. You know, what, what do they taste like? These grapes are nice and ripe. They taste good. A lot like, uh, I think, the Pinot Noir that we'll make from, um, from this area. But some of the other things I look for are a little bit of yellowing of, of the leaves, which uh, signals that the vine is, is really nearing the, the end of the, uh, of the season. I also look for what we call lignification, which means that the, the canes have changed from being very green, which they were early in the season, to now they're, they're entirely woody. And that's, that's a sign of, uh, of maturity. And they're pretty much lignified all the way up to the top. The other thing we look for is that um, the vines aren't really actively growing anymore. We want all of the energy going into uh, into these grape clusters and, and really concentrating that energy on, on getting the crop ripe. So Pinot Noir is noted as um, a variety that has a very small berry as, as well as a small cluster. What that means is that there's a greater skin to juice ratio. Since all the character of the wine really comes from, from the grape skins, the more skin that you've got relative to juice means the more character you're, you're going to have in the finished wine. Uh, Rosemary's Vineyard in, in, um, in general makes small berries and, and small clusters, and I think it's one of the reasons why the, the wine that we make from here is so special. The vineyard crew has arrived here in, uh, in Rosemary's Vineyard uh, to, to harvest some Pinot Noir. And what we'll see here now is uh, they actually are going to pick from the top down. We really like to keep the people behind the tractors on these uh, steep hills just to, out of uh, concern for, for their safety. So we'll walk up the hill and uh, see what they're doing. 